Swift and certain. This is huge. It really feels like it reaches the sky. And this thing was just sleeping in the ground near Ospio. I can't believe it. That must be a life-absorbing formula expanding around it. It looks that way. This isn't good. It looks like it came together pretty quickly. So there's not much time left. Perfect! People always heave ho with a deadline looming over them. That might be true, but it still puts us in hot water. If it's absorbing life from everyone, that should affect us as well, but...
Estelle? The spirits. They've swathed us in their power. So we should be fine as long as the spirit's power is greater than that form. Then we just need to run right to the top before... That'll exhaust us before we even face the Autofaga. Can't we just get on Ba'ul and fly up to the top? I doubt it would affect Ba'ul, but we probably couldn't take it. You just don't want to climb up. Of course not. Who do you think I am? Sorry, old man, but it looks like we're walking. Yay. We must brace ourselves and press forward. Yeah, don't let your guard down. Who knows what's waiting for us up ahead? The ancient civilization of Goraios. What must the people have been like who lived in an age that produced buildings like this? Well, I'm no expert on their lives, but I have some ideas from the Blastia we've excavated. Except for the Autophagos, from a scientific perspective, their civilization was nearly perfect. Their Blastia would have given them power equal to that of the Entelechea. Oh yeah, otherwise the Entelechea would have wiped them out. It's hard to believe that the people who were so scared of monsters, who locked themselves inside of a barrier, could have been so mighty. People got too much power and destroyed what they built in the process. It's not that uncommon, but there's one part of their legacy we're still paying for. Yep, they left behind the Autophagos for folks who came after them to deal with. Maybe they didn't have a choice, but that doesn't make it right. You take responsibility. We... we'll have to own up to whatever choices we make from now on, too. That's right. If we're gonna make a world without Blastia, we gotta make sure it works. We'll do a proper job with our own hands. Yeah, absolutely. all of this be kept underground for so long? The reason so many Blastia were excavated from around Ospio must have been... The ancient Goraio civilization? This is more amazing than anything in a book. Something feels strange. I know this is a weapon, because he's going to use it against the Autophagos. But from the outside, it looked like a city. Did they turn an entire city into a weapon? Maybe they had to sacrifice such a huge city so they could stand a chance against the Autophagos. This place is enormous. So many people must have lived here. And now, one man is holed up in here to destroy every last person. Duke. I'd rather not meet him if we don't have to. That soldier was already a hero in the Great War. Who knows how much stronger he's gotten since. What are you talking about? We'll just kill the Autophagos before we fight Duke. Then Duke won't have a reason to sacrifice humanity. I hope so. We're so high! I wonder how much farther we'll have to climb. Yes, I've never even flown this high with Ba'ul. I'm tired of everyone saying hi! That word is forbidden from now on. But this really is the weapon that can destroy the Autophagos. <sighs> the Garayo civilization was even greater than I thought. But we're the ones who have to beat the Autophagos! Yeah, we'll be in for trouble if we leave things up to Duke. Let's hurry. You know how I hate waiting, Yuri Lowell. And where do you think you're going with me right here? You! You're alive. Don't you ever die. You climbed all the way up here just for us? How sweet. You must be exhausted. You just never quit. How many times do I have to tell you? I don't want anything to do with you. You're trying to save the world? <laughs> Well, the world will go bye-bye if you don't hurry, is that it? If you know that much, then don't get in our way. Oh, no, 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 no! That's what gives it so much meaning! What's this guy talking about? Look! There's a seal further on. If you want to get by, you have to take this arm from my body. You can't be serious. You bastard! <laughs> Yuri! If you want to save the world, then you have to go through me! Why? Why are you doing something so meaningless? Meaningless? 
Meaningless? Oh, but it does mean something. This way, you'll fight with everything you've got! Zoggy, I never thought you were this crazy. Fine. Let's finish this. <laughs> Show me your anger! Your rage! Give me everything you've got! Because if you don't, you won't get any higher! <laughs> die, 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 die! Just drop it already! I will hunt you down until you're dead. You're dying first. Yeah, keep talking while you still can. And you shut up. Yeah, come on! Give me everything you've got! We finish this now. Light Dragon! Destruction! Stay dead this time. Zagi, what a lamentable man. <laughs> it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt at all. <laughs> I can't move. What a weak body. I should change my next body to a Brastia, too. That would be more fun. Right, Yuri? Yuri! Do it in hell. No one understood him, so he put so much meaning on fighting.
Still, his skills made him pretty famous. Something happened after he met you all. He really looked like he enjoyed fighting. Maybe he thought that he could let loose with everything when he fought Yuri. So Yuri was the only person he could do that with? What do I care about somebody that crazy? It's just the shell of someone consumed by power. <sighs> We've wasted too much time on this. Let's go. Judy? Okay. Okay, got it. Did something happen to Bao? No, he's fine. I was just asking what it was like outside. How far along is the life-absorbing formula? Ba'ul doesn't know anything about formula. Yeah, I guess you're right. I told Ba'ul to move around as he saw fit. We should move along too, right? Yeah, let's hurry. Did people really live in this place? I don't know where we're supposed to go next. It's like the place is made to confuse us. It was probably built according to a plan at first, but after all sorts of little improvements, it ended up being the tangled city that it is. Isn't it strange that such an advanced civilization would have such haphazard planning? Maybe they were so advanced that the plans couldn't keep up with the rate of progress. It could be that technology even a few years old became obsolete, so plans were constantly changed. There's no use making guesses about what happened to a lost civilization. Let's keep going. You're not interested in figuring out how that lost civilization kept from getting lost? We men will make a path. That's right! Oh, please. So go ahead, lead the way. Zoggy was hopeless. Yeah, just think of all the things he could have done with all that energy. Finally found his equal. The guy turned out to be his enemy. That's the saddest part of all this for him. Huh? Duke lost his friend and equal. Alexei never believed his equal even existed. Then there's Zagi. The strong need strong friends to keep their power from distorting them. You think that's it? Take the Dom. He had his equal in Bellius, right? Raven, sometimes what you say goes right over my head. What? Are you making fun of my elegant, poetic comments? <laughs> you guys will be fine, though. You got plenty of friends. Zagi was about as annoying as they come. But I feel sort of sorry for him. Oh, that's surprising. I thought he was a, huh, idiot kind of person. That is not what I sound like. I stand corrected. When you can do something better than anyone else, you wind up feeling like something's missing. The other researchers would go on and on about something I discovered, like, two months before. And I'd start to feel like talking with them was pointless. So you think... Zoggy was the same way. I just got the feeling that we might have had something in common, that's all. But why am I telling you this? Just forget it. I'm sorry, but I have a good memory. Well then, keep it a secret, all right? <laughs> it's a deal. Those stairs. It looks like they lead to the summit. This is the moment of truth. Is everybody ready? I've been ready. Let's do it! Yeah! We have to do this! Turning back now would make dinner tonight taste like ash. Right. Even this old man's gonna put up a fight. People believe in us. They're waiting for us. We must defeat the Autophagos. For them! And for Pharaoh and Bellius. For the memories of the Intelikea. <clears throat> Let's go. I've been here for quite a while. I wonder how Ba'ul is doing. You think he's holding down the fort like a good soldier? Or maybe he's tired of being in such a dark place and went home. Come on, Raven! He's at least more dependable than you are! If you kids are gonna say stuff like that to me, maybe I'll go back for real. Go ahead. But isn't it tough on Ba'ul, being near a magic field? Yes, the Ba'ul of a few years ago might not have been able to withstand that. Even though he's young for an Intelikea, Ba'ul has grown. I'm sure he's just fine right now. You really trust Baul, don't you, Judith? I wish Judith trusted me like that.
We're invincible. We're strong, unbeatable, unwavering. We are Brave Vesperia. You let your guard down anymore and you'll trip over it. <sighs> Come on. I was in such a good mood, too. You drop your guard more than any of us, old man. Oh, isn't that just acting? Oh, my dear Judith, how very perceptive. I guess it takes an adult. Things like this just whiz right over these youngins' heads, you see. You ever notice how the old man's ears wiggle when he's lying? Look, Raven's ears are wiggling. You're right. They really are wiggling. I never heard anything more ridiculous in my life. You never met anyone as calm and careful as old Raven. Look at those ears go. Uh, anyway, the important thing is to proceed with caution, right? Is it the work of the ancients? Come, Flynn. A treasure hunt. 